hey, are you someone like me who is nonchalant about their feelings, who's whatever about their feelings, who never really shares how they're really feeling about something, a situation, circumstance, experience, someone? Well, welcome to the club. I've always been like this and it started at a very young age where when I just didn't really grasp the concept of sharing your feelings and how you really, really, really feel. Uh, I think from a very young age, I got scared of sharing my feelings because sharing your feelings is very risky and i think from a young age i learned to keep it to myself and deal with it by myself and deal with all those things which is not always the best way it's not always the worst but it's really most of the time not always the best way and so that results in you i know for me it has resulted in me being nonchalant with most of my feelings even when i'm really passionate about something even when i'm really excited about something even when i really like someone I, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna act like it's not a big deal it's, it's just not because showing your true feelings, how you really feel about something, how you really feel about someone, how you really feel about something that might have happened, that is happening, whether that's excitement, whether that is sadness, whether that is pain, hurt, joy, showing your real feelings includes the risk of being hurt. Because by me showing how excited and passionate I am about this thing, well, if it doesn't work out then what i should have never been excited in the first place i mean it's a sad thing to think about that you can't really be excited about something because what if you know it fails what if it doesn't work out but for someone like me and most people are just nonchalant with their feelings it's like oh at least i never really got excited about it at least i didn't show how invested i was just in case it doesn't work out. It's a safety vest. Showing your real feelings about how you feel. Redundant? Showing your true feelings also leaves very little space for disappointment because the time I share how I'm really feeling about this and I'm excited about it and I'm, I'm in a good place in my life and I'm just joyful, it almost feels like to me, <laughs> Well, you're not really leaving space for disappointment. It's like, I'm just really saying this is not gonna go wrong, which is not true. It's not true because being excited about something, being happy about something, doesn't mean you don't acknowledge the fact that these things could change. And showing your feelings leaves you vulnerable. And most of us do not like to be vulnerable. If I share my pain, my hurt, my sadness, what I'm really feeling right now, I, I feel like that leaves me vulnerable to people perhaps knowing my weakness, knowing, you know, that, oh, she's not great at this or, oh, I could take advantage of this. It's just overthinking it, honestly. I'm not saying being nonchalant about your feelings is good. I'm not saying not sharing your feelings is good. I'm saying the reasons why some of us act like that. So at the risk of being hurt, at the risk of being vulnerable i mean being vulnerable is not a risk but at the risk of all those things and opening up yourself to all those things while knowing that hey it could go south it's still very important to share our feelings instead of just being like it's whatever i don't really care about it but i do i really do so while in most cases i avoided sharing my true feelings about anything it actually hurt me more than it did any good while i was trying to protect my heart protect my space protect myself i actually ended up feeling very lonely and very sad because i wasn't sharing my excitement my joy with anyone i wasn't sharing my pain and my hurts with anyone and it was just a life not really shared and a, a life not shared with people that I love, a life not shared with emotions. So the next time you are nonchalant about your feelings, really think about how that's really making you feel.